another process video. <laughs> Today we're going to do some slow stitching, slow stitching for wellness and we're going to use some buttons. I'm going to show you some of my buttons from the button collection and jars and and yes it's going to be nothing new really but just how I'm just sharing how one of the ways that I find to relax let me bring you closer so you can you can have a you can have a little look <laughs> oh. Oh, let's have this little cup today. Mm. Yes, yeah, nothing new really. It's just on Sunday, I had a really relaxing time with my slow stitching and I wanted to, I wanted to share that with you really. Let me, let me show you what I've been doing with the positive quotes that I'm collecting from this wonderful community in the live and in the comments. I'm making, just made, you can do yours how you want in your journals, but this is just a quick idea so you can just grab and go. I'm just writing them down. I just wanted something that I felt could be accessible to everybody. Maybe you've got like a little notebook, but I've just made this with some scrap paper and a favourite pen. So nothing really arty, but just something we can grab, <laughs> pop in our bags. Some days we are the light, other days we need the light. I just love that. I've actually usually got some pictures of candles on my desk. I, li I did literally have those there reaching over for the glue because I didn't think I'd be using glue. <laughs> I'm just going to... some print stick on here and stick that on so it's just a way to be able to scribble down really like Mary's scribble journal and Kat's commonplace journal just a play quick place to put some quotes <laughs> so that was me Sunday really some days we can be the light and other days we need the light. And I'm going to share with you the way that I found helpful for me. You might find it helpful for yourselves. Just this is the way that I just relax down for a bit. <laughs> I'm making ruffles. <laughs> this is one I made sitting on the sofa. It's an easy sew and looking through the buttons is, is very, very relaxing. I did some here on netting. <laughs> This is fabric from Jean. I'll show you the card she sent me. She sent me this piece of fabric and she said, I look forward to see what you make with it. And I thought, oh, lovely. I will make something. <laughs> so literally. Now this is slow stitching, so 
in my interpretation of slow stitching. I'm calling it anything goes stitching. Small stitches, large stitches. Is this called a gathering stitch or a running stitch? I'm not quite sure, but I'm making a ruffle. I'm going to be conscious of myself here. I'm not going to lean over and tense up. I'm going to make sure my shoulders are, are back, not hunched over. I'm going to sit myself in the chair. Hmm. I'm going to take some deep breaths and I'm going to take this stitching at its word I'm not slowing the camera down <laughs> I'm going to slow myself down there's no rush Here we are. How lovely. Mm, it's lovely glazed cotton. Yeah. Mm, it's nice and long, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is then now I'm pulling this and it's gathering it. I'm sure this may be something especially if you're a sewer, you've done before. Sometimes it's nice to try new things. This is new for you. And sometimes on a day where you need the light, it's nice to go back to familiar things. There we are. There. I'm going to leave that done up because I'm going to search for buttons now. Oh, quite a collection here. These ones may have been sent to me. A vintage button, a large button with the vintage fabric behind it. Oh, I wonder the story of this button. It's 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 cotton. It's probably a dress. 1950s maybe. Oh another. That's another vintage button. It's plastic. I'm thinking 1950s. It's very soothing. Just to look through. <laughs> oh, teal butterflies. That's lovely. I know you'd like that. I'm putting that to one side. Oh, a pottery button. I probably bought that on holiday. I think I did once. You could buy them singularly. Bought a little cat pottery button. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, what's this in the button tin? You never know what you'll find in a button drawer. Beetroot and a blue elastic band. <laughs> oh, dear. And lots of different sizes. Oh, I love this button. Does that show up? Let me put some white behind it. That button is F-A-B. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's from the 60s. I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Now, what we're going to do, I've got the card that Jean sent me. 
Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm going to use that as inspiration on this chintz. <laughs> and I'm going to choose some buttons from here that I think will go beautifully. We've got oranges and pinks. I'm just literally sharing my process, my process of relaxing really. Got some blue, some orange and blue. Oh, gorgeous. I'd like some different sizes. Yeah, that would be nice. Blues and greens. Oh, and greens and light blues. Hmm. That's a lovely one. Hmm. That one's got glue on the back. I need to sort some of these buttons out. Oh, I like that one. It's a blue button with square holes. I love that one. Let's put that drawer back and pull out another drawer. Oh, this drawer has got dog hair, obviously, and orange and yellow. Oh, a large yellow button. This time it's got round holes. Oh, let's put that on. How do we balance these colours out? I think I can see some light blue and purple. So let's go to another drawer. some of these oh these are ones that i made with air dry clay should we put one of those on little blue air dry clay button there blue what more color i think a dark green what do you think you'll be telling me now tell me now because i can always make more a dark green in here. Let's have a look in another one. Let's see if I can find. This is the bottom one. Here we are. Can I find? Ah, oh, yes. Oh sizes of dark green let's oh no three different sizes of dark green let's rehearse them and see which one looks best oh what a lovely blue that's so clearly 1950s haha <laughs> oh this is antique this goes back from the days when oh i've used them all up when people used to have their shirt buttons in a little box. Oh, there's one left. This must have been a dress shirt. Isn't that beautiful? I'll give you a little close up so you can see it. And they used to take their collars off as well and starch them, didn't they? Mason Hill, Bromley, Kent. What's local? And See if we can get a close up of that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it has one. I don't know what you call them when they have this thing on the back. That hook. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> oh, lovely. Let's rehearse these buttons. The small dark green to balance off that it's got a small. Maybe. Let's have a look. That one. Or the middle size. I think the middle size one. Let's go for the middle size one. Super. So I'm going to sew these on. Wonderful. And while I do that, we can just have a little chat, I think. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? 
I'm just going to sew them on. So I've still got the thread attached. Let me show you my inspiration. Look at this from Lizzie. Liz, this is one of Lizzie's ruffles. Isn't that gorgeous? And she's put all vintage buttons down the side. Thank you, Lizzie. This was from Lizzie and it's going to become my slow stitch journal. Thank you, Lizzie. have a if you don't have a great button collection you could make your own I've got some watercolor paper here or you could use cardboard and I have made my own let me show you let me show you what I've been doing I've got when I was making those into that stage that I was at of making the round cutouts in watercolour, these were the dots that I was making with leftover paint and I turned them into buttons. Let me just get my watercolour and I just got my little brush from Cat. I just simply pop some water in there and you just make some little circles like this. And when they're dry, they make beautiful little buttons. Again, this is very relaxing. <laughs> With that leftover paint, let me just put some on the borders of this mini journal here from Steffi G. There we are. We're going to use that in a minute. Put the top on here. Ah. So let me do these ones that I made earlier. So how do I make these? It's a lovely, it's a lovely thing to doodle. Quite therapeutic. So I, I've just got a nice black, it's just a marker really. So I'm going round here. If you can see, I've left a little white gap and I think that looks quite effective. That one's got a bigger round gap. I'm going to put some little dots here and I might just come round there. That makes it look effective going to make some holes as the, there's no right or wrong this is literally just a a doodled button i could put some of that lovely gold leaf on couldn't i mm. now there's an idea <laughs> i'd like to put some dots of interest on there <laughs> and then i just simply get some scissors and round and cut this. It doesn't have to be because I found that white edge doesn't matter. I've got to be careful not to smudge those dots because I've just done them. There we are. And let's fetch some cotton and then I simply sew. <laughs> there you go. I leave that little thread there. 
come up through that little hole there. And I'm going to tie that off. I quite like it when the threads show. One. Two. I think you've seen my little scissor case with my button collection on. <laughs> before there we are and that's simply ready to use now in our journals and i've got one that i made here just with some bits of lace and fabric and it's got the paper button and i'm going to add that as a in there i'm going to put some of the fabric so it's coming over the top what glue do I need to stick that down? I think I will just use the Pritt stick if I can put my hands on it. I only had it a minute ago, didn't I? Hmm. Here's... I'll use the glue I can find. Here we are. Just put some glue on it and stick it down. <laughs> there. Isn't that lovely? And this can go on Flo's desk so she's ready to make another page. This is some of Steffi G's painting paper. Wonderful. There you are. <laughs> are you noticing the buttons are displayed on these beautiful antique doilies from Jennifer? Look at this as a pretty picture with the, the doily showing through such delicate delicate work and you can see it's been used because it has like a tea stain on i love that i love the way the pattern from this 1980s placemat shows through there's another one here look how wonderfully delicate oh those two match and they've got these ones too Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Jennifer. <sighs> it's so lovely that we can spend this extra time with one another. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's quite our, well, it's my little routine now on a Tuesday morning. Love it. Let's just top up the tea. Mm. Just my little way of doing a bit of tea staining now on some paper. Having a nice slow start to the day, really. <laughs> Going out for a WALK -okay later <laughs> with friends. You'll love that. <laughs> oh, have you grabbed yourself a, a nice beverage? Mm. I'll place the lid for the glue. You know, when you can't find something and then yeah, put that on. Yes. Hmm. Let me start to sew some of these buttons on then. Oh. 
Oh, take a nice deep breath. Mm. Now later on, I mentioned the quotes and you write yours wherever you feel it's helpful. Later on in the week, it is my aim on my community tab to have a list of January's positive quotes. They're not quotes that I've searched for online. They're, they're, they're quotes, positive quotes from the heart of our community. They come from the live chats and comments and so they're, when people share these quotes, they've got meaning for them and I think, I think that's what makes them so special. Hmm. It's lovely to have this little project set up here. I, I'll be able to pop it in my basket. I'm going to be going up to Ben's tomorrow. So I shall take my slow stitching up to Ben's. It's nice to have a project that you can, that's portable, that you can take around the house. Actually, most of our, most of the projects we do are quite portable. Hmm. Shall we light a candle? Let's do that. I'm lighting this candle for those that find themselves in chronic pain, whether it's emotional or physical. Mm, there we are. Well, I've blown it out, but I've still got people on my heart, and I know that you do too. Mm -hmm. Let's have another little sip of tea. Mm. I'm hoping that this week that you'll be able to find some moments taking life moment by moment, some moments where you can find calmness and, and peace. everybody. Bye. Um, one is
special ones now. Really? That you can recharge, yeah. Oh, wow. You press the button and they get warm, so Pierre's going to love That's that. technology for you. It is. Yeah. They're actually following the, the ball on the, um, the football pitch. Ah. Oh. Come on, let's go through, Fred. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh. oh, I can't read the name either. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Ah, oh. in a cottage in a wood. Ah, <laughs> oh. it's wonderful. Right, where's young Fred? Oh, here he is. Come on then. 